Hi everyone, it's Wolf. Welcome back to another video. Today we are on War Robots and I will try to answer some questions you guys had about the microchips. In particular, the effect accumulation per shot. What is it? How does it work? How can you make it work as fast as possible? We are looking at a tier 2 microchip here. The blue ones, they have an effect accumulation of 0.7% per shot. In a similar way, the control resistor uh, slows down effect accumulation by 10%. Okay, so to understand this whole thing a little bit better, let's first take a look at what the word accumulate means exactly. Looking at a dictionary, it means to increase something gradually or over a period of time. Now before effect accumulation, lockdown weapons like Corona or Halo worked on chance. Let me show you an example why that is not good to have. Imagine chance a little bit like rolling a dice. A dice obviously has six sides and there is no guarantee that any number will roll at any given time. So for Halo and Corona and all these weapons, let's say you needed a six to lock down an enemy, enemy player 100%. Uh, this is what this will look like. It's basically a lottery. No? And that's why a lot of players started to complain about this uh, weapon type and suggested to rather make lockdown and other effects like freezing additive instead of chance. So with update 5.7, effect accumulation was introduced, uh, Corona, Halo, Glory, Shredder now all work additive so that after a certain number of shots has been fired, the enemy robot is guaranteed frozen, is guaranteed suppressed. Uh, for the freezing chip, that means that the robot has 40% decreased speed and takes 20% more damage from all enemies fighting at it. So that's quite, quite a chip. Okay, let's take a look at three different weapons and do some math after. One shredder, for example, has a capacity of 40 rounds that it fires within 4 seconds. One cryo has a capacity of 35 rockets that it fires within three and a half seconds. The heavy redeemer, however, has a capacity of 21 shots that it fires over, let's say, 11 seconds. So let's do the math quickly. The tier 2 chips have an accumulation effect of 0.7%. Uh, How many shots would you need to fire to reach 100%? That is, let's say, 143 shots. The Blitz has four light weapon slots. As mentioned, the Shredder has a capacity of 40 rounds. So with four Shredders on one Blitz, you would be able to fire 160 shots in one clip. Meaning the Blitz would be able to suppress or freeze or lock down any robot it uh, attacks within just one clip. Okay, I hope that helped you guys understand a little bit better. Now let's take a look at some gameplay. Uh, this game is not so much about high damage or anything, it's just to show you the effect of how the effect accumulation works. And I um, apologize in advance for the lag and the graphics. This is indeed of what it looks like on Android's side at the moment. It is that laggy and the graphics are quite bad. Wor definitely worse than they were before. So I'm hoping for uh, a very quick update from Pixonic's side to fix all those issues that we have now. Okay, enjoy the gameplay. Let me know in the comment section what deep dive I should do next. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Should you not be subscribed yet, definitely consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so that you know when new content comes out and have fun. Stay safe. See you guys in the next video.
Use the fork, go! 